A tube of potion was injected into the blue object, and a miraculous thing happens. Blood vessels appeared, then the heart and bones. The brain and muscles appear in turn. Suddenly, the gorilla's vitals plummeted. Fortunately, Susan was able to save the gorilla in time. The gorilla is back to its original form. Everyone is happy to celebrate the success of the experiment. David proposed a human experiment. He's going to experiment on himself. He injected himself with the potion. In a few moments, his body began to tremble, his skin began to fade. Slowly, he disappeared onto the operating table. David became the first transparent man. He remained in this state for three days before he was reintroduced to the human body. After Lily saw that David was fine, she fell asleep in the chair. It wasn't long before David's mischief began. He ruffled Lily's hair, then he started unbuttoning her dress. Lily woke up from her sleep to see David just lying on the bed. She suspected it was David, but she had no proof. Soon enough, it's three days away when they injected the potion into David's body. Not only did it not work, David almost died. David became transparent again. They made a silicone sleeve for transparent man so they could see him. The manifestation potion was never developed. Transparent man was getting cranky in the lab. He insisted on going home. When transparent man returned home, he saw his neighbor across the street taking a bath. He had an evil thought. The woman heard the doorbell ring. She opens the door and finds nothing outside. In fact, the transparent man had already entered the woman's house. The woman returns home and feels someone behind her. The next moment, she's pushed onto the bed. David, who had become transparent, began to like what he was doing. No one could see him, so he could do whatever he wanted. His co-workers also noticed David's abnormality. They talked about reporting it to their superiors. The transparent man overheard. The man smokes a cigarette. The next moment, he was pushed into the water. David saw his superior not breathing before leaving. He left no trace of the crime. Susan found out about his superior's death, realized that the situation is not right. They were about to go to the police. They realized all the smart doors were locked. Everyone grabbed their thermal imaging cameras and went to look for the transparent man. Sarah was too late. She was strangled by the transparent. When they saw Sarah's body, they knew there was a serious problem. David was now acting like a madman. He used his advantage to kill his colleagues one by one. Finally, he put Susan and the injured Kevin in the cold room and set up a time bomb in the lobby. Susan made a simple electromagnet and pulled up in. David was just getting on the elevator. Susan came after him just in time. David was on fire. He quickly took off his gloves. He's completely transparent again. Susan turned on the fire extinguishing nozzle. Not long after, transparent man's form appeared. He followed Susan. He knocked Susan to the ground with a slap. Just when Susan was about to be killed by the transparent man, Kathy came to save Susan. The transparent woke up and attacked from behind. The iron bar hit the electric switch. He was instantly electrocuted and fell to the ground. The two of them took this opportunity to hide in the pipeline. At that moment, the bomb destroyed the entire lab. 